Hi, Greg Pearson here from Professionals Arthur Johnson Snowball. Today we continue our look in the changes to the Residential Tenancies Act centred around family domestic violence. Today we're looking at point four, which uh, is the, the determination of the court allowing a determination of the release of partial or all of the security bond in certain circumstances. Let's take a look. For example, let's say the perpetrator has done some damage to the property or has withheld financial resources. As all lease agreements up to this point have held, uh, have held the stance of a joint and severably liable responsibility, it's often left the victim a further victim as the perpetrator is not being held accountable for their actions. It's not intended that the lessor receive anything less than they are already entitled to at law, simply just make the correct party liable for any damages that may have occurred during the tenancy. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you'd like further clarification, best head to the Department of Commerce website where all this information will be rolled out in very specific detail. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.